Hello, YouTube. My name is Yamakar, and I'm going to be doing a quick, quick Fast and Furious tutorial on getting automated rail networks. So, the first thing with rail networks, obviously, is you need the tech for that. So, we're going to go over the tech tree. What you need, you need railway, and you need automated transportation and rail signals for this. So, this tech has to be researched in order to automate trains. Not too deep in the tech tree, it's just red and green, so pretty simple there. So hopefully you got to this point already. If you didn't get here, well, tech it, and then you can get here. Um, for this tutorial, we are playing on God mode, so we can just build instantly and go from there. So the first and most important thing people don't do when building a rail network is they build a single rail line, build a station, and then everything goes to hell. So for this tutorial, we're going to tell you to start by doing this. What are we doing? We're building a two-way rail network. So we got track going one way and track going the other way. And you're like, okay, that's great. That means nothing. Then we're going to put a train on it just to show you. So this train is going this way. And this train is going to go this way. So we're going to build our basic infrastructure first. That is our first step when building a rail network. The first step is not building a station, but building your rail infrastructure, your main X, Y axis or uh, main railway or road or whatever you want to call it. Then we're going to place our first rail signals, not chain signals, rail signals. And we'll explain the signals after in a minute. Now you can place them anywhere here. It shows placing signals everywhere. Like what the heck is going on? So you can pick here, either the train is on the track going this way or the train is on the track going this way. Once we place the first one, everything kind of makes sense. We place it, the train is now, you can see the little arrows, it's going left. It's going this way, where the train is facing. Then we're going to place another one. We space them generally a little more than a train length, but that can be played around with a little bit. So now our rail is on the outside, or right-hand drive, or left-hand drive, I don't know. You can do it either way. It doesn't really matter, whatever your preference is. Then on the other side, we're going to do the exact same thing. So, actually not the exact same, the exact opposite thing. Mirrored. So we're going to have the signals on this side. So... We now have a train track going this way, and we have a train track going this way. Cool. That is your basic, basic rail network. No problem, no signals and uh, go over track over top of each other. Super simple. Now we're gonna build our first station. This is where things get a little bit complicated. So we're gonna grab this train and we're gonna say it's gonna unload down here somewhere. So we build our train track and it's doing its thing and it's going to be a roundabout station because it's a single headed train. So we grab our train station and this is where our train's going to go to. We're going to call it where our train goes to. Cool. So we got you. We're going to give you some fuel and this guy is going to go to station where our train goes to. No problem. Signaling is perfect, right? Then we're going to grab this and loop it back in to the side. Still works, no problem. This is where it gets a little dicey if people get confused. Now we have overlapping train tracks. Now, if we want him to go on automated, he's gonna stop here. And you're like, why is he stopping here? Because there's a rail signal here. This rail signal is reading the train track all the way down here and all the way up here and saying the track is blocked. So we now need a signal to fix that. So we're going to do uh, what's called the only rule in trains. Chain in, rail out. Now, you see this is spazzing out. It's spazzing out because it's not finished yet. So we also have to add a rail here. So anytime you have an intersection, it's going to be a chain into the intersection and a rail out of the intersection. Chain into the intersection, rail out of the intersection. This is going to read both of these. Not just one, it's going to read both of these and say is either path clear now both our paths are not clear because these are both reading that train so we need to continue signaling so we got another intersection here chain in rail out chain in rail out all of a sudden the train just magically went to a station so we got chain in rail out chain in rail out and that works with any intersection and we're going to do this here again Chain in, rail out. So now we have a basic infrastructure. So you start off with your main rail line, left to right or right to left or up or down, whatever you want. Then you build your stations so you don't get confused with your train tracks. 
place these guys about a train width apart. Uh, they prevent the trains from motoring down the track and then stopping. Now we're going to go over the other rules of trains. So, you have this intersection here, no problem. But let's say we built an intersection like this. Why do we have an intersection like that? I don't know. But we're going to have another signal here. So it's chain into the intersection and a rail out. No, because this is technically an intersection. An intersection is anything where your train, which is a 1-2 length, cannot fit in between and block the traffic. So as long as this train sits like this, so say it's sitting right this, because it says a green signal to go here, it's going to block traffic. So you never want that to happen, right? We never want that to happen. So this is technically considered an intersection for that purpose. So we're going to put a chain there. And then a rail here. So this guy, if a train coming here, he will not proceed through this intersection unless it can get past this signal. So he's going to wait here as opposed to waiting here or waiting here. He's going to make sure I can always get past that intersection before going. So right now you see there's a train here blocking. He's red. And it's going to tell this train, dude, you cannot go this way. So blue signal means one or more of the paths are occupied. This path in this scenario is occupied by this train. So our train now is going to sit here and he'll wait his turn until this guy leaves to cross through this intersection. And then we'll continue signaling properly. So chain in, chain in because it's still an intersection. So chain, chain into the intersection and then the rail out of the intersection. That's literally all there is to trains. So you build the basic rail line then you build your station don't build your station first then the rail line build your rail line then the station because once you build your basic rail line just a couple tracks and you put your first signals on it it's going to limit you on this side here now you're going to look at what is this white thing here for why does it put a white signal here and not here why is it allowing that there so that is for a train going both way on the track so currently on this setup, the train can only go this way. But if we put this here, the train actually has signals this way too. So it could go that way as well. This is where things get a little dicey when people make a single lane network. It doesn't work because you can only go here, but then there's no signal here. Now he's blocked. So if you're going to do double lane networks, it has to be on every single one. That's why you just build a single rail network one way and make it work. Now let's do one more little tiny scenario. Let's say you want to do double headed trains. So we're going to put this guy here and we're going to put this train here. This is a double headed train. You can do dub double headed on the same track. No problem. No problem. So our guy is going to come in here. He's coming down the track here. And the track goes like this. Do, 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 do. And we're going to do a rail there and a chain here and a rail here because that's how the signal intersection works. But now this train needs to get out. And it's not a looping train. This is a signal, signal headed train. And he needs to get over this way again. So we're going to build our track to go here. This is now wrong. This rail signal is not right anymore. So you're going to switch that to a chain. This to a rail. This is technically okay. But I would probably put that as a chain again as well. Now here is the end of the intersection. Right, so the train's coming this way, chain to chain to rail. So he's reading this one to read that one to this one here. Now the fun part, you need to put a chain signal here so the train goes this way forward. And then you're gonna put a chain signal here because this is technically a different intersection. And then you're gonna put a chain signal here because that's technically still the intersection. And then a rail signal. Now you have Double signal on the section of track. So the train's allowed to go this way down the track and forward. But he is not allowed to go this way because there's no signal here. So he comes down this way and he can only go up this way. Now, if I for some reason put a signal here, it kind of, eh, that wouldn't be too bad. But if I put this signal here, he cannot go back up this way. It needs to be on this side. And if you put this guy here, it won't work. They need to be on top of each other, where that white little square is. And then we would put a chain there, and that is our intersection. 
So now we have a looping station, we have our rail network, we have a sort of complicated intersection, and we have a double-headed train. It's literally all there is to trains. Chain in, chain, rail. That's it. That's it. That's all there is to trains. It gets a little more complicated, obviously, if you want to do some more fancy stuff, but that is how to get a basic rail network automated. So chain in, rail out. Chain in, rail out. And then you should be good to go because these act as uh, a copying signal. So they just mirror what's ahead of it. And they're gonna copy this guy, the rail signal. And this is like a stop sign. Blue, one lane occupied. Green, open, red, closed, yellow. Doesn't work. If it's doing this, it just doesn't work. It's something is wrong. And that's all there is. Welcome to trains. Welcome to Factoria. If any questions, throw them in the comments. If you like this video, like it, I guess. <laughs> Subscribe, and uh, you can always follow me on Twitch, www.twitch.tv slash Yamakara, Y-A-M-A-K-A-R-A. And that is Yamakara. Peace and out. Have a good one.